This month on Images, we'll toss our caps in the air with the class of 2013, honor this year's outstanding graduates and overall outstanding faculty member, and sketches come to life on the runway at the annual fashion show. All of that and more on this edition of Images. Hi, I'm Rio Almaria, admissions representative at College of DuPage. Welcome to Images, the program that keeps you up to date on what's happening here at COD. Graduation is a time of celebration to honor achievement and look forward to the future. Students completing their studies to earn a degree or certificate at College of DuPage celebrate this milestone at the annual commencement ceremony, taking the stage to clench their well-earned diplomas. Join us in congratulating the graduating class of 2013. Graduates, the trustees are honored to share your achievement with you, your families, friends, and the college community. You should be very proud, just as we are proud to serve the residents of District 502 as the flagship community college of Illinois. Now, the two students selected to represent the class of 2013 as the outstanding graduates are Alexis Reich of LaGrange and Megan Thome of Naperville. Congratulations to both of you. One of the many things I have always thought was interesting was how little kids ask the question, why? No matter how many times you answer, they will always ask again. But why? Growing up, I was that kid, but I didn't always get an answer. As a result, I learned to do things without really knowing why. Eventually, something inside me learned that the reason why doesn't matter. When I arrived at COD two years ago, I was used to trying to say and do what other people expected of me, and I no longer had my own reasons. Fortunately, COD provided me with opportunities to learn all about motivation. One of the most interesting things I learned in Ken Gray's psychology class is called the self-determination theory. Within this theory, research shows that the more internal our reason for doing something, the better we perform and the more fulfilled we become from doing it. External reasons for doing things can be unfulfilling and even addictive. Growing up, we had a paperweight on the windowsill that read, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? I always liked the phrase, and it was fun to repeat to people who were thinking about taking a risk. It wasn't until a few years ago, however, that the phrase came to have meaning in my own life. Let's go back five years. I had received my bachelor's degree and had entered the working world. I had become what they call a grown-up. It was exciting and new, and I was ready to take on the world. Deep down, though, I knew something was missing. I had always been a creative person, drawing, writing, creating my own books, or whatever else was interesting to me at the time. When I stopped tapping into this and was no longer getting my creative fix, I was just itching to get into something where I could put my right brain back to work. So I decided to return to school. Going back to school for graphic design was taking a chance and entering the unfamiliar. Would I be good at it? Is it the smart thing to do? Would I find a job once I graduate? Well, once I started at COD in the graphic design program, those questions and worries were gone. I realized that I had never made a smarter decision more in line with my goals and my interests. I'm so grateful that my younger self took a risk despite not knowing where it would lead. Taking chances can be scary, especially when something you really want is on the line. Now, when an opportunity arises and I get a twinge of nervousness just thinking about it, that's when I know that I actually have to do it. 
Instead of being scared off, I know that a little discomfort trying something new is just what I need to get me out of my comfort zone and grow. This could be anything from taking on a challenging new project, visiting a new place, or even giving a speech to so many people. Do you have an opportunity waiting for you that makes you feel this way? It might just be the next step you need to take. So, stop thinking about restrictions and what may happen if you go for what you really want. Most of the time, your worries are just that, worries. I know it's easier said than done to rid yourself of all worry, but the more you channel your energy into your passion, the more the thought of failure is replaced with all the thoughts of possibilities before you. Having graduated today shows that all of you are able to take the steps necessary to accomplish what you're setting out to do. Whether it's your first go round at the working world or it's the beginning of your second career, I hope you always think about what you would do if you knew you could not fail. It might sound cliche, but I'm pretty sure that paperweights don't lie. Congratulations on your graduation and best of luck in whatever you choose to do. Thank you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of DuPage, I do hereby confer upon you the degree or certificate which you have earned, either the Associate in Arts, the Associates in Arts and Teaching, the Associates in Applied Science, the Associate in Fine Arts, the Associate in General Studies, the Associate in Science, or a Certificate of Completion, with the very best wishes and special privileges that come to those who graduate from the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the administration of the College of DuPage. Congratulations on this great honor this evening. Images wishes all of this year's graduates the best of luck in their future endeavors. And we look forward to honoring the achievements of future classes. For more information on all the educational opportunities COD has to offer, visit us on the web at cod.edu. Each year, College of DuPage recognizes graduates whose achievements truly demonstrate determination and success. Images gets acquainted with Alexis Reich of Bolingbrook and Megan Thome of Naperville, the 2013 Outstanding Graduates at College of DuPage. Well, I was originally a teacher, um, so I decided to come to COD when I realized I had this creative passion. I wasn't fulfilling. Um, teaching is great, but when you're a creative person, you've got to fulfill it, so I knew um, the graphic design program here was great. So I came, I tried it out, and once I was here, I knew it was the right decision. The classes were great, um, it was fun, it was what I wanted to do. Coming back to school can be scary when you're familiar with doing something, but um, the program really prepares you for what you need to know to feel confident to go out into the working world. So once I graduated, I had all the tools I needed, and throughout the process, I knew that I was learning what I needed to know. So that kind of builds your confidence as you're going, so you feel like you made the right choice, and I know I did. When I first got to COD, I took the beginner courses, so drawing for design, graphic design one, and they really do a good job at preparing you for what you need to know, the basis, um, the concepts that you need to later on create amazing designs. So. Um, I was just a student my first year taking two classes and um, my first full year here I also started working in the program. So John Caligari was my teacher but he was also my boss so I really learned a lot from not only those beginning classes but being able to kind of do the behind the scenes work as well. Um, I think that boosted my confidence as a, as a designer and also um, gave me extra skills as well. I don't know if you could find a better set of instructors than at COD, honestly. Um, I actually did nominate Jean Ruth, who was a digital illustration teacher um, for an Adobe Award, and she was recognized as one of 10 selected through Adobe uh, for her inspiration and her techniques of, of teaching. So um, all the full-time and part-time staff were great. They are knowledgeable. They come in with 
you know, real world experience, but also a lot of teaching experience as well. And they're able to balance that to really provide you with everything you need. Well, first I was um, told that I was nominated, or not nominated, but I could be, I was eligible for the award. So I interviewed and crossed my fingers and uh, they gave me a phone call and said I was chosen as one of two outstanding graduates, um, which I was very excited for because the speech I had prepared talked about um, fear you have coming in and making changes and I was really excited to share that speech with others. Having graduated today shows that all of you are able to take the steps necessary to accomplish what you're setting out to do. Whether it's your first go round at the working world or it's the beginning of your second career, I hope you always think about what you would do if you knew you could not fail. It might sound cliche, but I'm pretty sure that paperweights don't lie. Congratulations on your graduation, and best of luck in whatever you choose to do. Thank you. I came to COD because in high school I was looking for a school where I could play tennis, um, but I just couldn't find the right school for me. Um, I didn't want it to be like a major part of my life anymore. Because, um, but I couldn't just cut it out anymore. It had always determined the structure of my life. So here I was able to, you know, continue to play and um, receive a presidential scholarship so I could afford school. The College of DuPage prepared me to transfer to UIC um, by allowing me to really get involved. Um, I was able to work with teachers, um, I think that I had a lot of opportunities that I would not have had um, at other schools. I was able to work while attending school. Um, I was able to uh, move out. I had kind of a rough environment going on um, at home, so I was able to work and gain my own you know, financial independence and um, really take care of myself, and that's really going to allow me to excel at UIC. The instructors at COD were really great. I used um, great my professors, so I got the cream of the crop, but um, I loved how willing they were to work with students outside of class. Um, I think a lot of students probably didn't even realize how much the professors really want to help them. Um, and. You know, by taking advantage of that, I think I was able to get so much more out of my classes than um, just, you know, going to class each day. Um, my professors were really passionate about what they do. I was really pleased that I won the Outstanding Graduate Award. Um, I, when I came to COD, I had never heard of the award. Um, and it was my first week of school and I was sitting downstairs um, in a club and I saw the award and I, I told myself, I'm gonna win that. And then um, just, it was really satisfying to actually um, see that happen and have all the struggles I had faced kind of validated and um, I felt like it paid off. So today, aside from congratulating you on all that you have achieved so far, I want to encourage you to evaluate your own reasons for doing things. By finding areas where you can connect to a more internal motivation in your own life, you will perform better and you will create a fulfillment that is long-term instead of one that is fleeting. As we leave here today and move on to all kinds of crazy new things, my hope for each of us is that we connect with our inner motivation so that we can lead lives filled with long-term happiness. Learners of all ages from all backgrounds find their next calling at College of DuPage. For more about what COD has to offer you, visit our website at cod.edu. Each year, College of DuPage honors one educator who stands above the rest as its overall outstanding faculty member. 
For the 2012-2013 academic year, this distinction is awarded to Professor of Psychology, Dr. Ken Gray. Ken recently spoke with Images about his passion for sharing his love of psychology in the classroom. I think there, there are two things that I really like about teaching. One is just the, the actual activity itself. I just find it very, very enjoyable um, interacting with students um, either in front of uh, a group of them as, as, uh, as the teacher um, and, um, or as uh, um, you know, the leader of a small group um, you know, having just talking about research articles and research projects um, or even just one-on-one. -on -one. So again, it's just that, that interpersonal interaction that I greatly enjoy. And then the second thing is I've always, it's always been important for me to feel as if I am doing something important, doing something meaningful. Um, and I honestly can't think of a, a, a better way to do that than, than teaching. I try to connect to students. One thing that I try to convey is that I remember what it was like to be a student. At, at various times, I've been um, a very good student and a not so good student who was very unmotivated, didn't care about any of my classes. And so and I feel as if, if I, if I tell the right story at the right time to the right person, I can connect with a lot of different people. Um, and so, um, I do try to leverage those experiences, um, having been disengaged, um, and you know the importance in my personal development of discovering what I really liked to do, um, and um, yeah, finding that finding that discipline that really spoke to me. Um, the other thing that I do, just sort of in general, is I really make a very special effort to try and get to know each student individually. Um, in the beginning of the semester, we do uh, a number of activities to kind of get to know each other, to learn each other's names. Um, I try to talk to students before and after class um, so that we all feel comfortable with each other. I had one experience very, very early on um, that a student I, I will never forget, and he probably has no idea um, that, I'm always gonna, um, that I'm always gonna remember him. Um, he um, was in my general psychology class, and um, early in the term I was taking attendance, and he wasn't there, and a student who had known him from high school um, kind of um, yelled out, uh, get used to it. Um, and right, so obviously this was a student who was not particularly motivated, was you know had never done well in school before, um, and um, so it turns out the student did sort of start coming to class. I mean, missed a few at, at first, and then started coming a little bit more regularly. Um, and um, his performance then obviously improved throughout the throughout the course. And I. Um, was walking down the hall with him um, at the very end of the term. Um, I don't even remember why. Um, and he just sort of turned to me and, and blurted out and said, I, I never thought I could be good at anything. Um, and uh, I mean, it's moments like that when, when you know, I feel as if I can play a role in helping people discover, develop their own strengths. Um, that's that's sort of why I feel like I'm here. At some level or, or another, I've, I've heard many of the previous winners say something like this. Um, and so it almost, I, I almost fear that it's gonna sound insincere, but once you're in this position, you, it, it, you really do feel this way. You're almost embarrassed um, to win it because, um, you know, we have, we have 300 full-time faculty members, we have 1,200 part-time faculty members, and many, many, many hundreds of them are absolutely outstanding. Uh, in my role now as a coordinator of, of faculty professional development, um, I have the opportunity to see what a lot of people are doing in ways that I had not 
um, even, even known before. Um, and there's just amazing things happening inside hundreds of classrooms every day at, the, at this college. And to have me be singled out as the outstanding faculty member, it feels, it feels a little bit weird. Um, to be honest. I am honored to have been chosen. It's been a thrill um, get, getting so many heartfelt congratulations from people. Images would like to congratulate Ken, one of many high-quality educators inspiring College of DuPage students. At COD, the opportunities for learning and personal growth are endless. Check out what COD has to offer you. Visit cod.edu for more information. The Jack Kent Cook Scholarship is the largest private scholarship for two-year and community college transfer students. Winners of the prestigious award receive $30,000 a year towards educational expenses during the final years of a student's completion of a bachelor's degree. College of DuPage student Abigail Escatal was named one of this year's recipients. Abigail is the sixth student in COD history to earn this nationwide honor. I was curious to see what it would be like to be in college. Um, although I never felt like I would be successful because I wasn't very successful in high school, I just wanted to know what it would be like. And I honestly didn't want to live with insecurity, like financial insecurity. And I know my parents wouldn't be around forever, so I had to definitely find my own backbone to be successful. I had heard a lot of good things about College of DuPage, so I figured I'd try it. And, um, and they had a paralegal program, an undergraduate program, and I basically um, went into college expecting to get the least amount of school in to get just to get out of it and so I basically went in for an undergraduate degree but I ended up really liking school and sticking with it. I guess it was more of a critical thinking. I wasn't pushed into taking a bunch of tests that I felt terrible about. I didn't feel immense pressure from um, just like I've always felt I wouldn't say dumber but just not as smart because um, I always felt like I had things thrown at me that were overwhelming but weren't really explained to me, you know. So I just had a harder time in high school whereas in college it was more like what do you think about this piece? What is this piece really telling you? You know, it was more of a critical thinking rather than okay, answer the questions on the test and let's get on with it. I discovered speech my second semester at College of DuPage. I took Speech 1100 with Lauren Morgan and um, the first time I went to the class, she explained that we had to basically not talk, of, talk from a script. We had to literally say what we were gonna say without any kind of guidance, but just know what we're gonna say. And that freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> But it turned out that I was pretty good at it. You know, I wasn't perfect. Like, I'm not what how I've developed as a speaker today, but um, I was very encouraged by Lauren Morgan. And um, I found it very difficult. It was definitely a challenge. It was not easy at all by an ounce. But I liked the challenge, and I wanted to develop as a speaker. So I just, um, I, I was encouraged by her to definitely check out the options that were available to me and that's how I joined the speech team. When we think of the legendary football player Jim McMahon, typically wearing his trademark sunglasses, we remember the Chicago Bears' glorious victory of Super Bowl XX and his outstanding dance moves during the Super Bowl shuffle. We'd imagine that he aged gracefully after all his successful years with the NFL. However, according to a September 10, 2012 Sports Illustrated issue, his longtime girlfriend Lori Navon tells quite a different story. Persistent episodes make him drop to his knees, break out in an ice cold sweat, and turn ghostly white, complaining of a terrible pain that he describes as having an ice pick in his brain. McMahon has been suffering the same chronic degenerative brain disease that has claimed the lives of so many players 
even more troubling is when we examine what's happened to professional football players and apply to the millions of amateurs playing football as a recreational sport. When I found the speech team, I definitely found a family. I felt I found people that I connected with. Um, I didn't feel out of place. Um, I was definitely not successful my first year. I was just learning. Everything was so new to me. Um, but I definitely found my niche, um, especially because of the people. Like I, I couldn't explain to you in any words how wonderful it was to find people that were so amazing. Um, every individual, you know, we developed a family and I never, un I never had that experience of a team. I remember when I walked into the classroom and I saw Dr. Bruder and I thought he was just gonna do a presentation for the class. I had absolutely no idea what was happening and I had recently just won the student essay contest. I won second place, so I thought it was for that. And I'm like, wow, this is kind of overblown, but okay, I'll go with it. <laughs> but then when I found out it was for the Jack Ken Cook scholarship, I really couldn't believe it. Like, I, I feel very honored. Um, I feel that a lot of other people probably do deserve it, if anything more, or it's just as much as me. I don't, I don't even feel like I deserve it. Like I don't realize, I haven't realized all the work I put in. Like my coach Lauren Morgan keeps reminding me like, no, you deserve this. And I'm like, I don't know about that. Like I'm just unsure about it. And I mean, I just, I look at all the stuff I've done and it was just for my self growth, you know? So I just, I, I can't even grasp the idea that I've, still, it's been like two weeks now, and it's still a shock to me. Abigail's story is an inspiration to anyone pursuing their dreams. And the number of College of DuPage students earning this competitive scholarship is a testament to the quality of instruction and experience at COD. See how College of DuPage can help you take the next step to advance your educational, professional, and personal goals. Check us out on the web at cod.edu. College of DuPage's annual fashion show features the garment designs and creations of COD fashion merchandising and design students. The entirely student-produced event showcases the vision and creativity of COD's talented students as many original designs make their runway debut. about special events or classes offered in COD's Fashion Merchandising and Design program, visit their pages on the web at cod.edu. That's all the time we have for this edition of Images. We hope you enjoyed this program from College of DuPage. Also, you can watch past episodes of Images on demand by visiting our website at cod.edu. I'm Rio Almaria, see you next time. Yeah.